Well, look at John chapter 14. John chapter 13 and verse 1. The words of our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples, Let not your heart be troubled, but ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions or dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, no, in heaven, there you may be also. And whither I go, you know. In other words, where I go, you know. And the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither or where thou goest, and how can we know the way? Now here's a verse I really want you to take note of. It's a very well-known verse throughout the whole world. It's John 14 and verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. What he's saying is, no one can get to heaven apart from me. And that's why we've got to understand that because of our sin, we're locked out of heaven. But God is able to let you into heaven by means of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you receive him, if you believe of the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. You'll receive the forgiveness for your sins by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am the way. Notice carefully, I am the way, not a way. He's the only way to heaven. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So if you're trying to get to heaven by some other way apart from Christ, you're wrong. Stop trying. You'll never make it. You've got to come through the person of Christ. Otherwise, you'll never ever be able to make it into heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ, as he said, is the only way to be saved. The only way to receive forgiveness for our sins is through the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified for us upon the cross. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. If you have known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth you know him, and have seen him. Father said unto him, uh, sorry, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. In other words, if thou wilt show us the Father, we'll be satisfied, it'll be sufficient. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and have, uh, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. They should have seen the works that the Lord Jesus Christ has done, and realize that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God, God's anointed, the chosen one. You see, the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. We need to understand that. We're in big trouble with God Almighty because of our sins. But God is able to forgive you of all of your sins this hour, my friend. If you come to faith in Christ, if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. Now he's not saying that he is the Father. We have the Father, we have the Son, and we have the Holy Spirit. The Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world, and the Son sent the Holy Spirit to bring conviction upon the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. 
You see, our sins have locked us out of heaven. We need forgiveness for those sins. Otherwise, we'll never ever be able to enter into heaven. And the only way of forgiveness is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who said, I am the way, is to be read, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In other words, you can't be in heaven apart from the person of Christ. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You must be saved if you ever hope to enter into heaven. There's no way into heaven apart from Christ. And this is why we need to understand we have a debt that we cannot pay back to God because of our sins. Our sins have shut us out of heaven, as I've said. We need forgiveness for those sins. And the only way is through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross to be your saviour, this hour, my friend. Yes, believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, or truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. You know, words, he was going back to his Father in heaven, after he'd been crucified for you and for me. He had returned from where he came from, and he came down from heaven to die on the cross for you and for me, to be clothed with humanity, to have a perfect body. But we see Jesus who was made a little low the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honour, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. And so he died for every man, woman, boy and girl that ever has been born or will be born or is alive now. So we need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ has made provision for us. God has made provision for our salvation. But you've got to come to Christ. You've got to put your faith in the person of Christ. You've got to believe upon him to be saved. Otherwise, you can never, ever be in heaven. Yes, and uh, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. You see, we prove that we love the Lord by keeping the commandments of the Lord in the power or by the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, we cannot please God unless we've been born again. Unless we have the Holy Spirit inside of our bodies, he gives us the power to live the Christian life. There's no way that anyone can live the Christian life, my friend. You've got to be empowered by God, by the Holy Spi- indwelling Holy Spirit inside of our body. The moment we put our faith in Christ, we receive the Holy Spirit inside of our bodies to give us the power to live the Christian life. None of us can do that apart from the Holy Spirit's power. And so this is what we need to understand. We need to be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So this is the promise of the Holy Spirit that the Lord Jesus Christ was going to uh, send down from heaven for his people to be empowered 
We have from on high to live the Christian life. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. So keeping the commandments of the Lord is a proof that we love the Lord Jesus Christ. It's got nothing to do with getting to heaven, but it's got everything to do with obedience. Being obedient unto the Lord, and being able to do that which is right in the sight of the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling Holy Spirit, once we are children of God. You see, we must understand we are not all children of God. We're not all in God's family. We've got to be, that's why we've got to be born again into God's family. Because when we're born into this world, we are born as the children of the devil. I'm not saying your dad is the devil, but spiritually speaking, our father is the devil. This is why we need to be born again. We need to have God as our father. And the only way we can accomplish that, we can't accomplish it, but the only way God can do that for us is if we put our faith in Jesus Christ, his beloved son. This is the way that we receive forgiveness for our sins, by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, by receiving him as our saviour. What was written down? You know, we see a long time ago, someone asked, what must I do to be saved? The answer was, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's how simple it is. That's why many people are missing out on God's salvation. They think that you've got to do good works to get to heaven. Well, it's great to do good works and be a good living person. There's nothing wrong with it. But it will never, ever, ever get you to heaven, my friend. You've got to come by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and relying upon his finished work upon the cross. This is what it's all about. It's about the person of Jesus Christ. He is the one I want to present unto you this other. He's the one that you've got to come to know as your saviour, otherwise you'll be your judge. What will it be for you? Saviour or judge? Salvation or damnation? It's up to you. Heaven or hell? It's all depending on what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. What you do with Christ? will seal your eternal destiny, my friend. God wants us all to be in heaven. There's no doubt about that. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. It's a guarantee from the God of heaven. He's able to save your soul. He's able to forgive you of all of your sins, no matter what you've done. You can get right with God. You can receive forgiveness for your sins and have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about Christ, my friend. It's all about the person and work of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Will you come to Christ this hour? Will you put your faith in Him? The way him to know is life eternal. Yes, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, yet uh, be yet present with you, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. 
If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now, I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, that's the devil, cometh, and hath nothing in me. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ does not have the sinful nature, but you and I do have the sinful nature that responds to the temptations of the devil, responds to the, uh, the flesh, you see, the flesh. The Bible calls it the flesh. It's the, the, the old nature that we have. The nature that you and I have, we've been born with the natural, the natural man. And God wants to forgive you all of your sins. God wants to make you into a new person. That is, all things have become new. Beyond all things, uh, uh, he wants to make you into a new creation or new creature in Christ. All things have become new. All things are different. So we need to, this is why we need to be born again so that we can please God. We cannot please God without faith in Christ. We've got to put our faith in Christ so that we can become a child of God. Yes, you have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, as I said, that's the devil, and hath nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. So we need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven. He did not begin to exist when he was born of Mary. Wrong. He's the eternal self-existent one, along with the Father and the Holy Spirit. They have been there for all the in eternity past to do such a thing. So we need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven to take upon himself a body that in that body he by the grace of God should taste death for every man and be crucified for you and for me. He said, No man taketh my life from me, I lay it down to myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my Father. And so we need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ voluntarily laid down his life for you and for me so that you and I could be saved. He shed his precious blood upon the cross in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So again, what do you need to do? Come in repentance toward God. Change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night.